What's up guys, back again with another video. I am trying to deliver some interesting content for you guys today and to get some of the projects done that I have rolling around in my head and get them out here for you guys to see them. So this is an Arma Infraction 3S. I got this from someone. Uh, off of eBay and um, they sent it through the mail and it had a, a I'll get my little pointer thing out here um, this right here right receiver uh, the antenna was broken so I bought a new one so because once your um, antenna has been chopped in half it's no longer the range is like only as long as the tenant the antenna is so if you have a short antenna it's going to be like you can run it around yourself and that's it with this longer antenna that allows you to go down the block uh, and that's this is just standard i just replaced it and super easy so anyways what we're going to do today is uh yeah we're going to replace the motor and the esc yep that's going to happen and uh yeah Let's begin. So I've never taken apart an armor car before. And let's start with this. We'll get the battery out of there. Um, yeah, so, all right, one less battery. And let's turn this thing over a little bit. See what we got on the bottom there, okay. It looks like it's all for the drivetrain right there. And yes, he's got screw there, screw there. And how am I taking that motor off? And yeah, I think I'm gonna have to uh, take the front end off, or the back end, the back end off to get the motor out, but we'll get there when we get there. So I'll start with the ESC and we'll go from there. So yeah, thanks for uh, watching my videos if you do. Uh, I like, this is my thing. I like doing this, you know, and I don't mind, you know, filming, but I can only do so much with my phone, you know. I need need a partner. Yeah, my my scribe's magnetic. It's helpful um, in some situations. And my bits, or rather, my um, screwdrivers are magnetic magnetic too, but only to some degree. They should just stay on the end because you know there should be a good um, interface between. The faster and your tool. Okay, so that got me the button free. Yeah, lots of stuff in there. Oh, there's that other screw. I knew there was another one. Yeah, so they arm has stacked the the power button on a different post and it covers up the other ESC screw. So that's three screws, more or less, that keeps it all held down, which is, that's pretty easy. All right. Um, we'll trace this back and we will unplug that. Yeah, I gotta get inside of that. Yeah, looks like I gotta drop the back back end off yeah so uh yeah we're gonna do that we'll just balance it over there yeah this thing um is you know i probably should have taken this thing for a rip before doing this one last time on um, 
this power supply. I'm going to change over to my little Dremel driver. And, uh, wow, that's a really long screw. Look at that. Yeah, that's, that's long. That two and a half mil bit is really old and um, yeah, uh, doesn't hold hold on to the uh, fasteners very well. Okay, so I have to remove those two. Okay, is it just that one? Okay, so what am I missing here? in here. Unless it just got it's just that one other one. Sorry about this taking so long, but uh, yeah, this is a new car for me to take apart, so not entirely sure how it's supposed to come apart. Like I see where there's screws, but how it all sits down, yeah, uh, it should just come out at this point because I took the two screws off the bottom. Interesting. It all slides, doesn't it? I like that. That's pretty cool. You know, that is a spring-tensioned 
uh, drive shaft. It's fucking great. Nope. That screws out. That screws out. There's not one in either one of those. That's just for battery retention. Um, what I, I gotta get this red part out. That's gotta be it. Hey, look at that. Hey. That's really ingenious. That's smart. That is really smart. And then I should be able to slide the motor out towards the center. Because it's locked in just like that other. Yeah, that's awesome. That really makes it solid. Normally I don't like using my hammer on anything, but this is kind of kind of tough. Let's see if I can't just kind of do the pry bar type of thing behind it. And I've taken all the screws out. It's just it's so tight. What a way to seat the the motor. Sweet. All right, let's cut these zip ties real quick. Get this thing out of here. Actually, there's probably just that one. Yeah. I like the cable clips that are in here for cable retention. It's so nice. All right. Okay, well, that's the ESC and motor, but I'm going to uh, have a look-see at the motor here. Let's see what I see. Uh, a bunch of garbage in that. Right. Well, this is what the inside of uh, this arm of gearbox is going to look like. If I can get it apart, I may have not moved it. Uh, like that's the same, the spur underneath there. Look at that, that's awesome. So, um, yeah, let me get rid of this little thing right here. So I can take the pinion off. Best not to shoot that part across the room, especially if you only have one. I only have one, so. And there we 
is a set screw on the pinion. So that's like double whammy for retention on the pinion. If not complaining, just just saying that I I like. It. So at this point, you guys are probably wondering what motor and ESC I'm going to use if I'm not going to use this. What am I going to use, right? Oh, man, that's really on there. There we go. There we go. So, um, yeah, we'll get to that just as soon as I get this apart. And uh, you guys are just going to go eight. All right. So, that allows me to come back on this side. Yeah. How do I even gain access to that? That's so silly. Can't reach it there, can't reach it there. Man, it's not quite a good angle on any which way to get at that little grub screw in there. Can I push this out? Oh, I gotta take that off too. That's, that's kind of silly. Of course, it's not a size that's on that. Do I, can I, I can't just push that shit out. No way. That's got to be screwed in. Yeah, this is a little slipper clutch that I would love to change out for something else. I wonder if I could put in a center, center diff in it and change this whole animal. Yeah, something to ask the guys at the hobby shop. Be like, hey, you guys know about this? Well, that two with the, the ball end was the trick to getting that grub screw loose on the pinion. But it still ain't coming out. There we go. It is on there, which is good. That means it ain't going to move. Okay, there is the motor and ESC out. And we're going to take a sec. So that is a 20 tooth 5 mil. And um, yeah, it looks like it's that mod one. If it isn't, it's the other kind which is more like a slash and I wonder if I can't just no man I figure
are trying to have their own unique parts, that's for sure. Yeah. All right. So we're going to do a little bit of uh, Frankenstein stuff here. So <laughs> you guys probably saw this earlier and was like, nah, he ain't going to put that in there. Yeah, I am. I am going to put this inside of this car. At least that's it, yeah. So that's it. It happened. That is sacrilege right there. Arma. Or rather, uh, Traxxas in an Arma car. <laughs> I think it's funny. But anyways, um, yeah, let's get on with this and put it back together and then take it for rip. So, I don't know if this is even going to work. I better put this on now. Okay. Trying to get that little gap for the tanning ring to get exposed. I think I got it. Maybe not. That might be enough. Right, I'm going to tighten the grub screw first. Actually, let's look at the other one. Is it even on there? And it's on that one, but it isn't on this one. So I do not need to put this on because it's not on there with the other one. Or rather, it's not on the Traxxas one. Okay, so we will point the wires to that direction. Look for the alignment holes. Nope, not like that. that I'll take that Interrupting it. Sorry about that. My dog barking. Okay. 
Yeah, that, that, that like ruined my flow having to go deal with my barking dog. All right. There we go. You see it, and then it, and then you, it slides on you because you you let go just for that second. I think I got it. I still gotta set the mesh though. That's, that's no big deal. You get plastic gears too. I'm definitely gonna have to upgrade this. Yeah, who, who knows how long. Are you, did I seriously miss that? Hell, there it is. Nope, I missed it. Yeah, I think that's it. Put this cover back on. Yeah. That would have been the time to change the gearing on it just have, while having it all open, but I don't 
think I'm gonna need to change the carry. <laughs> Because uh, the motor change is probably going to be enough. <laughs> we'll see. Right. Get rid of some of this dirt outside. And then we're going to put it all back in. Okay. Yep. Just excellent that it goes in like that. That's so easy. I'm kind of surprised that I had to use a hammer to put it in there, but I'll take it. You know, it kind of makes sense. It's all tight fitting parts. And um, they, they're serving a purpose. Uh, great, that's in. Um, yeah, not going to be a whole lot of room for the ESC. That's okay. Okay, no one saw me do that, but you probably heard the little snap. So, okay. I think that's it. Other than, uh, yeah, a couple little touch-up things. Yeah, it's hooked up and I could power it on. Not going to, not yet. Okay. Should have done the other side first. No, this is how it how it came out. It's how it can go back in. And I think I just need to move that. I think if I can pull that out, I'm going to. Oh yeah, I can. I can pull that out. That's good. Change its placement.
that's cool. That's perfect. I can totally change it and put it in a different spot now because I need it in a different spot. How helpful is that? Oh, I took it apart. Not what I wanted. That is just the motor's just a little bit too long, but uh, it' gonna work. Cause I say I say it's gonna. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I don't even know if the drive chef drive chef's gonna get shitted on. I wonder if I turn the drive shaft around, it'll work, and then I can just move this down to the other end. That would be so much easier if I could do that. Put the bearing on over this way. Put the drive shaft in backwards so that you have clearance. And then support the bearing right here. Right there, kind of do that. I'm sorry, I'm getting y'all are getting to see what I'm doing here. This is what happens. I'm I'm figuring something out while I'm filming it, which is which am I going to be doing more filming or um, you know trying to figure it out? Probably trying to figure it out. All right. So yep, yep, yeah. It's a little off, but yeah, I'd really like to be able to put that in a different spot like it was before. It's almost better there. Uh, yeah, decisions, decisions. Go back to with what Arma said it was supposed to be, which is actually not that one. This is me trying something else yet again. All right. Go like that. Yeah, it almost works, except I can't. I probably got to do it all at the same time. cannot because the drive shaft is too long in one one aspect so that's the only way other than seeing if I can't just put it on there like this and then put the screw in So I didn't put the screw in on that. 
and it is rubbing on the motor. Yup. Uh, yeah, let's put this thing back together and uh, I want to take it for a rip. Alright, this is one of those long screws I'm going to put back in that I did not actually need to take out because I'm not well versed in armor cars. And, um, yeah. But I am full of mechanical knowledge. Okay, that's that. Take the antenna, pass it through here. Kind of keep it out of the way, just so I can get it into place. Yeah, I wrap my. I tried to, uh, or I wrap my antenna up with um, this extra bit of a. Uh, zip ties and then I just wrapped it with tape it, you know it's kind of janky but it's just supposed to protect the wire you know so I went above and beyond because the last one you know the one it came with you know was broken but this is what you what you get when you buy a used car and um, yeah that was first thing replaced and it was super easy um, I highly recommend that you, um, color, like factory reset it or rather do factory reset your remote and then bind your remote, you know, and it'd, it'd be a lot easier. Set, set all your, reset all of your endpoints and all that good stuff. You know, it'll make a difference. You'll be a lot happier and, um, you'll be aware ahead of time. Okay, so the battery box is on. Um, yeah, the antenna used to go in this little hole, like right down here, and I'm like, nope, I'm gonna fix that, and I did. All right, now I gotta figure out how to, I'm gonna orient this ESC in here. And where's the button? Is that the button? That is the button. Okay, so that's not bad, but it is bad because it is going to interfere with the drive shaft. So that's probably what's going to happen, just like that. Or go right here. Yeah, it just is, it's so strange to have this loose. I wonder if I have space for it on the other side, or on this side, along with the two batteries, if I use short battery packs. 
I might have enough room. Mm, I don't know. Can I just strap the ESC in? Just about. Okay. So this is probably going to be a zip tie jobby until I figure out a better way to get it to stay. Yeah. All right. Zip ties are always easy to find a place to attach it to. So. This is a long one. I'm sorry. I'm torturing you guys with all of this nonsense of me putting a Traxxas ESC and motor into an arm of car. All right. Uh, I think I want one more. I'm going to cinch everything up. Just cinch it up now. I want it to not rub on nothing. That's not bad. Finagle it a little bit more around. I suppose that's good enough. I'm I'm not. I'm just gonna like street bash this. So I'm not actually gonna like bash bash this. Not like I'm gonna send it off of a ramp. At least not yet. It just seems so floppy like that. It's probably because it is. in the middle and cinch it down really tight. I'm not trying to have like much of anything interfere with anything. I don't want anything to interfere with anything. Oh, I'm finding a ESC that don't fit. I actually should just move that that box. That might be a whole lot easier to do. Move the battery box or not the battery box but the uh Oh, it's, it's eh, fucking armor. So, yeah, that's going to have to be another project for another day. So the servo mount is actually part of the battery box or the, uh, the electronics, you know, box. Which, okay, I get it. I watched a video on one of the other wonderful YouTubers out there that's a little bit more informed than I am on, you know, RC history. And, uh, yeah, they said that Traxxas has a lot of patents. And that's why things are what they are. Okay, so I think that's it. We are ready to roll. Um, I think I'm going to do a little bit of wire management real quick here. And, uh... Yeah, just get some things out of the way and um, so I'm not worried about things coming loose and getting caught up in the drive line while, while we're going. OK, 
Okay, ESC is good. And I will just boy, that's such an odd orientation, also. That's not bad. Yeah, that's how that will go. We'll go uh through here. Tight enough to make it so that it don't really move a whole lot, like at all, it would be good, but I don't want to make it so that it's putting uh, stress on the wires. You know, power wires to them are kind of important, you know. Okie dokie now. Uh, what did I miss? Uh, let's clean up a little bit uh, so I have less to look at. Okay, well, that looks like it's about it. Let's put some batteries in and see what happens. All right, so a couple of shorties. These are just the standard um, Traxxas batteries, you know, these are the three, they're three cells. Uh, yep, should just uh, fit in here pretty easy, I think. Uh, battery sh straps should be enough to hold both of them. At least I think so. No, no hard stopping with this car because uh, the batteries are just going to push on the ESC. <laughs> Yeah, definitely going to have to mount the ESC somewhere else. Just not today, because I don't want to do that today. Oh, man, that's so tight. Yeah, let's just go like that. I know this is fit. I know it will. But I have a very good... Spatial reason. Maybe if I do turn, turn this other way. This isn't a slash or a max slash. You put their batteries in sideways. But look at that. That's way better. But I'm going to have to put a vertical strap around it. Because um, obviously this these are... Ugh, this is too, too much. They're just long enough to get it in there. So, yep, my list of uh, upgrades, and it's growing as you see me moving stuff around here. Yeah, I really got to try to pull that tight. It's not like I'm doing a speed run, but I don't want to lose my batteries. Do it reach? Yeah, it does. Okay. And the remote. Oh, 
hell. <laughs> this is now a 6S car. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. That's it. Sacrilege. <laughs> Traxxas guts in an Arma car. All right, y'all ready for to go take it for a rip?